Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions with the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guest. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Romoliotis, on social media. You know me as PD Beats. You will recognize my guest from a lot of amazing movies and TV shows, but he most recently will star in The Doorman with Ruby Rose, which will be available October 9th. We are with Jean Renault. Jean, welcome to Pop Turn It. Hey, how are you? Thank you for having me. No problem. I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, like, you know, it's uh, The Doorman is just one, a really fun exciting action film when you read the script for that was that kind of what was going through your mind yeah of course uh first of all the action and uh, second of all the art also and also the idea of uh for my character is of coming from the past and and putting my story today but that story starts in the past and, and arrives today. And I like that, that relationship with the past, the art and the action too. Absolutely. And, you know, one thing too is like, what I've noticed is a lot of like action movies, you know, you go in, you watch these action movies, a lot of fight scenes, a lot of explosions, <laughs> right? And it's that's the focal point. However, there's been a, like a shift I find where the acting in these action movies is also amazing and fantastic as well. The focal point's not just the kind of explosions and the stunts. Have you thought about that at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was really, really surprised. Not really surprised, but I was surprised because Ruby is very, very disciplined, strict, and uh, you know, talented and believable. And she does a lot of action, and she's very surprising. I mean, I was like a blown away. Wow! So the, the this is a beautiful woman. She is able to do that. Absolutely, no. It's 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 really good. Um, and talk a little bit about kind of what it was like shooting a film like this. I mean, we talked about kind of when you read the script, it's an action movie, but like actually kind of making the movie, Jean, like talk a little bit about your experience with this film specifically. This film, we shot in Europe, we shot in, in Bucharest, and we had a director from Los Angeles who is who was born in Japan. So it was interesting to have that shock of culture. We had also a Scandinavian actor with us, and uh, you know that's uh, melting pot. Yep. That melting pot functioned very well. I mean, every sensibility came together, and um, we 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 spoke about the scene. We we put a, a lot of ourselves inside the scene, and it's like in a shaker. And everybody has his word to say. Yep. Um, I, I, I would like to do that. I would like to do this, you know, and we exchange everything together and I hope the movie will please the, the audience, you know, but you, we were really together. Oh, absolutely. You have gotten a chance to work on some amazing, incredible projects and films. I mean, I can go on and list a bunch of them. I mean, The Professional, Mission Impossible, so many amazing movies. Are there some that will specifically hold a close place in your heart, Jean, that you are really, really proud of? Because you've worked on so many movies, but like on top of your head, like I mentioned a few of them. Are there some projects that you kind of always go back and like think about sometimes that you're really proud of over the others? To, to be, I mean, to, to be proud, of, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm proud because uh, I'm still here and people still... Uh, um, trusting me and, and they, they, they're still sending me um, uh, a scripts to do and uh, I, I, I thank them for that but no, the, the, I'm proud because I've met a lot of people yeah. for example they were talking asking me what, what is Godzilla for you Godzilla is huge a big set, a lot of money the, the, even the rain is big but you know what is big by the end? It is my friendship with Mathieu, 
Bordericks. Be, because Mathieu Bordericks is a fantastic actor and a, a fantastic human being. And uh, he's in my life. From, from that time to today, he's still, and we still have lunch together, and we're still like two uh, uh, teenagers talking about everything. And th this, is, this is one of uh, the best things that you can have from my work, the work I do. It is you meet, you meet uh, people, uh, you meet crew, you meet artists, yeah. you meet producer, and among that, you will find a beautiful girl, you will find a, a, a beautiful friend and, and you will have exchanges and you will be better in your life because of them. And because it is, it is when you shoot a movie, it is a crew together. You cannot do a movie by yourself. It is a bunch of people working and looking at the same direction. Absolutely. We, we talked about movies. Have you noticed, though, however, that television, the way it, the production value of television in the last couple of years has been kind of elevated as well? Like you could be working on one episode of a TV show and the budget is over like millions of dollars and the production value is crazy. It's like you're making a movie. It's insane. Exactly, exactly. We we move the way we look at images. We listen to, we follow stories now in a different way. That's uh, that's the world. The world mo is always moving. And today, television, uh, they're very big. They're very big, of uh, course. Ab of no, absolutely. You've also dabbled, you've dabbled in a lot of different genres as well. I mentioned, you know, the action, the drama, but some comedy too, just visiting Pink Panther, like there, there's been some of that. Um, do you pride yourself on an actor that can be very versatile or do you kind of like that you're kind of known maybe for doing one genre or one craft of acting? Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you said one of, uh, from, from my youth, yep. I thought that because the world, the world, uh, it is interpreter. I, I like to, and when you receive a script or, or you take a play or even a song, it is a dream of somebody, somebody who, who wrote the story, somebody who dreams about the story. And th that person will give you the script to you and will say, can you please be in the project and can you be part of the project and, and can you interpret, can you translate what I've been reading for months? And I, I feel myself like an interpreter. So I'm not going to cut myself to do comedies or to do love, so, love movies or to do even a Western. I had no occasion to, for that. But if, a, if a, I had a, a Western, I would do it, you know, and to be on, on a horse. It's like a dream. And because I would like to try to interpret everything it will comes to me absolutely have you also noticed that there's a couple of genres or type of film and tv that has become more kind of mainstream and popular over the years so for example comic book culture geek culture nerd culture i find that culture like you know five ten years ago you know it wasn't cool to be a nerd and to like comic books and superheroes yeah. you know, now yeah. it's very cool have you noticed that Yes, because more or less you cannot continue going to the future without for, uh, without taking with you the past. Yep. So in, in certain points, at a certain point, you need to go back and take things from the past to rebuild yourself and and go in front of the future. Absolutely, and also um, another genre too is like horror movies. Horror movies have been insane right now too because there's more different ways to scare people you don't need the gore and the jump scares people yeah. are scary right <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's a way to enjoy to be among people also because Absolutely. when you scare, i mean if you're lonely at home it, it's a pity if you can watch a horror movie with friends it's better because it is also a way to be to be together but Which I know, like, with the pandemic, we haven't had an opportunity to go to the movie theaters. Uh, yeah, I know. But I hope, I but there's nothing, there's nothing better than going to a movie with friends on a late night 
and you don't yeah. even have to get dressed up. You go in your sweatpants <laughs> or your hoodie. You have your big popcorn, your big drink, and you just yeah. relax. It's the best. Yeah, it is true. It is true. I hope they're going to find a vaccine, you know. Yeah, it for... is, it, it's, it's crazy. Now, um, last quick question about this movie as well. I mean, this is kind of a action movie, and it's more actually it's more it's it's more of a statement rather than a question. I mean, we need films like this more than ever in the times we're living in. We yes, need the yes, escape. Yes. Yeah, we need we need to be entertain entertain and 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 to have an evasion in in the mind. Absolutely. So we're so this movie is going to be available October 9th. And what yeah. like, and if you were kind of to someone would ask you specific reasons why they should check it out, other than the fact that it's a very fun action movie, what are other <laughs> elements of the film that you've kind of noticed that will hit stride with the audience? Listen, when I watched the movie at the beginning, I was watching, okay, okay, and then by the, the let's say the first third of the movie, I went inside the story, and by the end, I was with my son. We were together watching the movie and listen, we were happy about that. Uh, we, we spoke after we went to, to, to have dinner and we spoke about the movie and my son said, I was satisfied with the movie. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, Jean, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. No and take problem. care. And um, I just wanted to know, I always ask fans, because people, like, are are there any, like, social media accounts or fan pages that people could follow you at? No, I'm private. I, I don't use that. But, uh, but please do yourself. But, uh, I am maybe too old for that. <laughs> Absolutely. But, they, but no, that, that, that is great. Um, but seriously, congratulations. And everyone's going to check out The Doorman. Congratulations on this movie. Thank you, sir. No problem. Well, this you. has been Pop Turnitive, youtube.com slash Pop Turnitive. For previous episodes, you can check out Jean Reno and Ruby Rose in The Doormat, which will be available on demand October 9th. Until next time, this is Jean Reno and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnitive. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnitive on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnitive on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.